Hi guys, Executor here and today while continuing the new series we focus on how to avoid the most common mistakes made by players during the fight at top 1500 or 100 at events I mean the places that guarantee 4 star ascension items So mistake number 3 is when play player is underestimating point threshold for placing in a specific top due to lack of knowledge or data about results from previous events when preparing for an event and planning a fight for a specific result, it is important to assess the situation related to points thresholds and scores from previous events. Lower, lowering the point threshold, qualifying the player in a specific range of places, means that often the player won't be able to keep in desired top and secure final top. For example, because he runs out of items because he assumed that this scoreboard would be lower by a few thousand points or having a small amount of items will force to use them in the most effective way limiting the number of stages that could be improved and this will be resulting in a higher cost of uh, world energy flask refills on the other hand a strong increase in point threshold and playing for the best point score at the given stage will automatically cause an increase in cost not only for world energy flask or refills but also for items look for example looking for a very good board playing with items at as i call it at risk improving some of the stages several times using a full set of items and they finally run out of. The optimal solution to minimize the total cost of the event is a slight increase assumed point scoreboard, setting the bar only a little higher. In this way the cost will be minimal and the effect desired. That is why it is good to know the results from previous events to be able to make good assumptions. And so, if I know that on last epic event to secure top 500 was needed 950,000, I'm preparing items to score 960 or 970,000. I use it practically from the beginning and keep the screenshots of all top 100 from each level of the event practically since when I'm competing them. So it is from, I say, April uh, 2019. Because this final score consists of many factors and the most important of them is that um, SG release new fancy heroes like, for example, Nordi. That new mm, blue three-star hero who is lowering elemental defense against blue. Uh, for example on a rare event which made <coughs> which made the best top on rare at all events uh, blue squad also Mickey at the legendary level level for example also awards for example in May to 2020 in fables of green forest rings were the reward for those low top scores at uh, and scores went wild automatically and increased by like I'd say five to seven percent uh, or the knowledge shared by tutorials like this uh, which are influencing on number of interested players to compete okay here's mistake number four too few prepared artifacts or items in relation to players event experience the player who crawls I mean, is still learning playing and competing at events, should prepare double or even triple number of artifacts items and assume more world energy flasks or refills to be able to practice various array arrangements and prepare for as many scenarios as possible to gain the necessary experience or a specific situation on the board which might give the opportunity to improve the result 
or use less artifacts in this situation. However, it also may result as a loss of the items without improving the result. You have to be aware of this. The more experienced is the player, the less mm, world energy flask or refills he needs and also less items or artifacts. To achieve better result than the player without the hitch skills or experience. A player with more experience uh, is also more flexible and also plays in uh, economical style enough to freely choose artifacts for, for specific stage while fighting for the average top 1500 or 100. Not once will you see a movie in my performance as I do for example top 100 at legendary event with arrows instead of axes and with small mana pots instead of large or for example on rare event playing without average mana just because of the economy. After theory and eliminating errors and mistakes as you have already solid base I'm going to show you how to do events in practice cheap and effective way. Thank you for watching. I hope this you enjoyed this video. Don't hesitate to uh, let me know in comments uh, about any other topics you want me to make a movie. Also don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thank you.